All right, so I've been up for 72 hours, racking my whole brain around this whole Kennedy assassination thing. I think finally, after the eighth day of not sleeping, I think I finally figured it out. All right, hold on. So, what do we know? We know that John F. Kennedy, front and center, him, he was one assassinated pretty sure I got that part right. As well as his brother, Robert Kennedy. So already we got two Kennedys, one of the most important people, assassinated. So get some context of the time. In the late 50s, the mafia, they ruled everything. I mean, just like they do now. It's ridiculous. And so the mafia, they controlled everything. They had the unions, they had the workers, the people that paid the jobs, especially they had the media. Here comes in the high honcho, the big, the big dog, Frank Sinatra, my man Frankie over here. JFK, he goes to Frank Sinatra, asking to get elected, because he owns the unions, he's got the people. So, there, we got Frank Sinatra right there. So Frank Sinatra pulls a few cards, he does a few things, and all of a sudden, bam, he gets elected. But, uh... What goes down in the meantime, okay? All right, all right. Robert, he goes on his uh, his crusade, his war on gangs, if you will. He uh, he cracks down on organized mobs. He cracks down on union men. He cracks down on, uh, you know, misplacements of shipments and things like that. All right? He exposes the Sin City in Newark, New Jersey, which was a uh, kingpin type place had national gamblings and prostitutions and things of that sort. And so this severely hurt the mob, all right? This crackdown completely destroyed their hidden network within the United States at the time, which at the time was run by Mr. JFK. So what does the mob do? They go to Frank Sinatra and they say, hey, yeah, yeah, your guy here, yeah, he's cracking down. His brother's doing these bad things to us. So he's like, yeah, you're right, you're right. So what does he do? Him in his rat pack, all right? They get down and they, uh, they pull a few strings and the mob's like, all right, and they decide to kill him. So on that fateful day, November 22nd, 1963, JFK is shot in the head. Dallas, Texas, while campaigning, it's a tragedy, it's, it's, it's horrific. And uh, so, but what is to come? What we do know is Mr. Lee Harvey Oswald right here. He's the main, he's the main suspect. But before he could identify and give his side of the story, he was assassinated. Yeah, that's right. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got uh, we got some pretty, we got some pretty crazy little coffee break real quick. Yeah, we got some pretty ribbon stuff over here. All right. So, what else do we know? You know, it's now it's been 50 plus years. We got better science. We got better technology. And we know all these different things. So, so what's going on in the scientific world around these? assassinations of today. So we know that the gun that Lee Harvey Oswald used to assassinate him <clears throat> gave off a specific type of residue on the cheeks when you fired the bullets. It would leave a mark. Well, if you look really closely, I don't see no residue on his cheeks. So it can't be that, all right? And if it didn't come from him, then who was it? Because how many people were there? Were there a dozen? Were there a hundred? Were there a million? Was the whole Russia in Dallas, Texas at the time? No one knows. But what we do know is many suspects say it wasn't just from one bullet. We knew there was another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. There's bullets all over. So who's doing this, all right? Who is doing this and why? We know that he screwed over Frank Sinatra, but is that really why? I say no. I say, like all things, there is a woman involved in this case, and that is Marilyn Monroe. Alright, now one of these Rat Pack members, will go back to that, of Frank Sinatra's gang's name was Jim Crawford, and do you know who Jim Crawford was married to at the time? Exhibit A, Marilyn Monroe. Yes, that's right, you can Google it. You can uh, you do your fact checkings and stuff. I mean, I've been up for 72 hours, what do you want me to do? Alright, alright, alright. So, Frankie here, my man. Uh, he had a uh, sexual affair with his buddy's wife over here. Tragic event. And uh, 
JFK here, because him and Frankie were such good friends as well, he, of course, also had a sexual affair with Mamaro. And then, it keeps going, my man Bobby over here, he also had a sexual affair with Marilyn Monroe. And, uh, what do you know? 1962, a year before JFK is killed, she mysteriously commits suicide of some drug overdose. Very suspicious stuff, people. Uh, I wouldn't believe it. You shouldn't believe it. Your dog shouldn't believe it. Your grandma shouldn't believe it. No one should believe it because it's fake. You know why? Because Frankie here, he was still mad that this man JFK not only screwed him over with his, his political stunt, but also he was sleeping with his woman. So he had him assassinated. Right, and then five years later, after the case went cold and the people weren't looking for him anymore, he had Bobby, my man, here assassinated as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, is the facts of what happened, all right? There was multiple gunshots from the scene, from many witnesses, including people on their dying beds. Why would they lie, all right? They could have just been doing a story, but do I think so? No, I don't. And do you think so? No, you don't. This was some organized, highly sophisticated gang activity okay this is a professional stunt that 50 years later it's still not come out i mean i'm here racking my brain drinking coffees i mean how many coffees you want me to drink you know i got so many i can't even i can't even sleep anymore so ladies and gentlemen to conclude this piece was the candies murdered by mafia yes